Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Tatum and I love the movie Princess Diaries. I love Anne Hathaway. She's such a great actress. In today's video, I am going to be doing a fall makeup look and I'm using all affordable products and a lot of these products I'm using are new to me. I'm excited. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So to start off this makeup look, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Primer Water Spray. I tried this out in my Flights of Fancy video that I did um, with their they, yeah, the Wet n Wild collection that they did. And I want to try it again and see. Okay. So I like how it feels, but I do not like the spritzer. It sprays at a weird angle. So just keep in mind that the the spritzer is not the absolute best. I'm gonna fill in my brows actually. And so I'm gonna use my NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe. I'm gonna start with the spoolie side and spoolie my brows. My face does feel nice and tacky. Hmm. And it does look dewy. And so I'm just gonna fill in my brows where there's like sparse areas. And then what I'm going to do is take my Equal Tools spoolie. You can get Equal Tools at Walmart. You can also get them at Ulta as well. And I'm just going to spoolie the product in my brows just so that everything is dispersed evenly. I'm not the best at brows, but I'm trying my best to get that a better at them. So I've been So the reason I've been MIA is because I have been working so much. I when I work at Sephora and then I also am a rover sitter, which rover is an animal sitting service and I have been doing that a lot so I've just been really busy with work and I haven't been home due to sitting at other people's houses for their dogs so I apologize for the, um, at the for my absence from YouTube but I just work I couldn't film at other people's houses due to confidentiality and safety um, of the people's homes and dogs and just out of respect for their houses and respect for the people. And so I hope that you guys are doing well though and I'm really excited for fall. I love fall and I hope you guys love fall too. Please let me know in the comments what your favorite season is. I do love fall and I also love spring. Fall is just really relaxed, laid back, chill. There's like pumpkin patches to go to, there's apple pie, there's Thanksgiving, there's, um, you know, cozy sweaters and boots and, you know, hot chocolate starts to come out and, you know, snuggly and season and, and like, Halloween and there's so much going on and it just makes me so excited um, so yeah um, 
I'm gonna start, now that I've done my primer, I'm gonna, or, well, I did the primer water spray, now I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop All-Star Matte, All-Star Matte Blur, Matte Plus Blur Primer. And this claims that they bottled up a selfie filter to give you perfect looking skin that stays matte all day. The pore minimizing line blurring skin perfecting primer is formulated with rose and camille extracts to give you the perfect canvas. In directions it says to apply a thin layer over moisturized skin, allow it to set for a minute and apply your favorite foundation. So my skin is moisturized. This primer spray does have moisturizing benefits. So I'm gonna basically focus the most of this on um, my pores. Oh my gosh, this smells really good. I like this packaging. Oh my gosh, this smells wonderful. Just take some more and put it on my cheeks. And it's not falling up. And it feels moisturizing too. It doesn't, I'm going to prime my lids and move on to eyeshadow. I'm gonna use my, of course, ColourPop No Filter Concealer and the shade Fair 5. And then to set that, I got the ColourPop Translucent No Filter Setting Powder. Oh, how neat. It comes with a little filter on top. Go in with the same brush and set that concealer. Okay, so for eyeshadow, I'm so excited. I'm gonna use the ColourPop Good Sport eyeshadow palette you guys look at this it is so unique and beautiful and I love the packaging and the names are on the back and also underneath the shadow which is amazing the only thing missing is a mirror so um, they did they didn't, no, I thought they included one in their highlighting palette Okay, so I'm going to start with the shade called High Hopes. It's this one right here. I'm going to put that in my crease. I'm going to use my BH Cosmetics number 9 brush. And start working that into the crease. What I love about BH Cosmetics brushes is one, they're inexpensive, and they also blend the product in so well. That is so pretty. That's a pretty transition shade. And then I am going to just take the shrink. There is a little bit of kickback but that's really, it doesn't bother me. I am now going to take the shade called Trooper, this yellow, with the same brush, and do the same thing to High Hopes, and just lay it out on the top. Like I said, guys, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> like, 
Okay. So what I'm gonna do next is I think I'm gonna take the shape flow. Or maybe reckless. I think I'm actually gonna take reckless. Well, no, I'll start with flow. Um Maybe it's a wet and wild number be funny brush. And I just wanna focus this color on the outer portion and then slowly in the crease. And now uh, I'm gonna take reckless. I'm gonna take that on a much smaller brush by Wet n Wild, and this is number P15. Go into the shade Reckless. This really nice, like, cranberry wine. And just kind of focus this on the outer portion. Just for some depth. I'll, I'm gonna go back into the flow shade and put that like more on that powder so it goes light to dark. So I'm gonna go into the shade flow and I'm gonna take my I'm gonna take the more the BH Cosmetics number seven. I'm gonna go back into the shade flow. And now I'm going to take one of the uh, Supernova Shadows in the uh, Fall. It's This is part of like the Fall Edit is what it's called. And I got the shade L-O-M-L. -L. I love their Supernova Shadows. And I'm going to just put on the inner... inner part of the eye. And I'm gonna use the same brush I used to apply that color. Kidding. how the eye look is looking right now. Really pretty, I'm digging it. I am going to do mascara. I don't wanna do liner because I don't wanna take away from the look. Um, and the mascara I wanna do is the one by NYX, it's worth, it's the worth the hype mascara. I know, I'm so late to this. <laughs> um, it's volumizing and lengthening. I've heard really good things about it. This is a really nice wand. This is a, what I'm doing is a trick that I learned from Shannon Harris here on YouTube is you actually like blink into your mascara and it evenly distributes the product. Ooh, that's really nice. Go 
in for a second. Oh. Ah! The difference? Holy cow! That's awesome! I like how that looks a lot. Definitely volumizing and also lengthening. I look like I'm wearing falsies, but I'm not. <laughs> I think the hype is real with this. Look at that. So for foundation, I'm gonna use the ColourPop No Filter Foundation. I know, I know, I'm so late to this too. But I also got their um, brush that they recommend. This is like, what I'm using, these no filter, um, this is like part of their like no filter foundation routine using like the All Star Primer and then I'm gonna use the All Star Setting Spray and then the foundation and this brush, it gives you like the flawless foundation look. I got the shade Fair 05 and I'm gonna use this I also have my skin type is normal to oily. So it is it is like it has decent amount of coverage. I wouldn't This is like medium to full. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the concealer. All these products are working really well together. I'm gonna go into the No Filter Setting Powder and Translucent. I'm use that to set my face. And I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild B70. So far, everything is going really well. I am gonna do a check-in tonight. For bronzer, I'm going to use my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. And I'm gonna use April Fools powder slash brush blush brush and just start bronzing. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into blush and I'm gonna use the shade uh, or the Blush by Milani. It's the powder blush, and I'm gonna use the shade Charcoal. Oh, 
fashion. Tea Rose. I feel like these blushes are so underrated. I I love them and I love the like rose embossment. And they're so pretty. They just give like the nicest flush to the cheeks. So now for highlighter. I'm gonna use the Crush on You Super Shock Highlighter Palette. Oh yeah, that's right. These are Super Shock uh, super sh super shock super shock um, shadows, but like in the highlight. I'm gonna take I think the shade Talking Co. 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 I can't talk. <laughs> uh, talk in code, and I'm gonna use that for my inner corner. Use my elf. Oh, so these are like smushy. <laughs> that is pretty well. Hmm. And then here's my real techniques. Setting brush, and I'm gonna take the shade called I think shade plus F. Oh, that's that is dark. Well, that's a good thing. That means that this can work on multiple skin tones. And oh my gosh, that is blinding. <laughs> Might be adding too much. Um, that is super pretty. What I'm gonna do is go into setting powder brush and just use the highlight. Okay, so I like this highlighting palette. I think the formula is really cool and really nice and poppin'. I like that they put the super shock um, highlighters in here. That's really cool. Okay, so to finish up the eyes, I'm gonna take the shade called Trophies, and then I'm gonna use that underneath to take my um, BH Cosmetics number 10. It's just like a small shader brush, and I'm just gonna use that to run this. dark horses. And then what I want to take is a little cup from, I think I want to take a little bit of hooked, use the same brush. I think I'm going <laughs> to, run this look only a couple more packs to go I'm gonna use um, I got the color pop Lux lipstick in pencil me and you know it's a really deep shade and I'm really excited it smells good very fall appropriate <laughs> 
like it. It's a little different for me. I think it's like a matte formula. It's not like, it's not like they're, they're, yeah, it's a matte. Like it's a comfort matte. It's not like they're creamy. Okay, so. Now I'm gonna do the setting spray. This is the All-Star Face Setting Spray. Let's test it. This setting spray contains our dual mattifying system to give you a soft focus matte complexion um, you want with a stay all day wear you need. Yes, it's packed with vitamin E and specially created locking color vibrancy and prevent fading. Okay, All the products work really well. Alright you guys, so that completes today's video. I am really happy with how this look turned out. There's a mascara mark right there. With mascara, you do want to wait a little bit, let it dry, and then get it off. I am so not used to seeing myself with a dark lipstick, but I'm kind of digging it. I like, I like how this look turned out. I feel very fall esque, <laughs> and I love everything so far. Has performed really well. I like how my skin looks. I like. The eyeshadow worked really well. The supernova shadow did really good. And I like the foundation, the setting powder, um, the primer, um, the ColourPop brush is really good. Um, the setting spray, um, these two palettes were really good. So, so far, this has been a really successful uh, first impression. Um, I love this fall makeup look. I think it's really vampy and different and fun. So I am gonna go um, for a while and I will catch up with you guys later. Okay. Hey guys, it is now the end of the night. It is currently 2.33 in the morning. So I'm gonna call it a night and um, I'm gonna wash my face and go to sleep. So I uh, filmed this look at, I finished filming this look at five. And so I've been, it's been on for like nine hours. And the only, it, the only kind of problem I, I see is with the foundation. It kind of wore off on my nose and a little bit around here, which is a little strange. I don't, I've never had that happen to me before. Um, maybe I need to exfoliate, maybe that's what it means. Um, I don't know what caused that, um, but the, I mean, it looks, the foundation looks really good everywhere else, except maybe around my nose, it looks a little clung, but I think that's due to me, I need to exfoliate. Um, the eyeshadow looks bomb still, and the highlight, and the blush and bronzer are still intact, and my brows are still intact. The lipstick did wear off um, due to like eating, and, and so it's not completely transfer proof. Um, the concealer still looks. The concealer. Oh, oh those are my hairs. <laughs> um, the concealer looks still pretty good, and the mascara looks really good. So overall, I would say this was pretty successful. Um, I am going to try these products out again, keep reusing them, and um, 
probably reuse them in future videos as well. So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a great night or day wherever you are. I'm going to sleep now, so good. I'll see you guys in the next video.